Hi there, everyone, and welcome to another contribution to the SNRD Africa newsletter. Today I have Alima Konate here with me, who is joining us online from Burkina Faso. Alima works for the project Pro Employee in Burkina Faso, which is part of the global project Rural Youth Employment that improves the qualification and employment situation for rural youth and women in four African countries. Alima is going to give a Pecha Kucha presentation on a successful gender transformative intervention that supported rural women-led micro and small enterprises in the agri-food sector. So over to you, Alima. Thank you. Uh, my presentation is uh, about uh, the creation and acceleration of uh, third women uh, businesses here in Burkina Faso. Uh, why I do this presentation, this activity? We do that because we have uh, many challenges here in Burkina Faso uh, for women to access to learn, to access to training, to access to markets, to access to equipment and technology, and to access to finance. We have the low access of women also to business development services. And... Uh, uh, why this uh, activity is uh, relevant? This activity is relevant for us because we have the high participation of women in the agricultural and agri-food sector. In Burkina Faso here, women occupy about uh, 60% of the agri-food activity. Uh, but however, we have a poor access to to resources uh, and opportunity in this sector for, for women. The activity is uh, also relevant because it provides support and advice to women uh, for their empowerment in the agricultural and agri-food sector. And uh, concretely, what uh, we done here uh, in Burkina Faso concerning this project. We have a uh, main activity. The first activity is uh, the conducting a diagnostic study on the need and interest of women agripreneurs. Also, we have the identif identification of uh, 50 women and we have the pre-incubation with uh, these uh, 50 women. The second activity is, is uh, training. We have training uh, 15 women on rural entrepreneurship skills, a technical, financial, and managing, managerial sorry, skills. Also, we have the development and mentorship program uh, for these women to depend women's ideas and uh, for the creation of enterprise. And also, we have the organization of two fairs. Uh, for women access to finance with public and private uh, actors. The next activity is a uh, handover equipment to women. Uh, we uh, are supporting uh, 10 best women startup projects with equipment. And uh, also uh, we we have uh, the individual coaching during month on how to use the equipment. After that, we have the field trips uh, to monitor women's activities. And now, what are the results and impact of this activity? The first uh, main result is that 15 women were empowered on entrepreneurship business creation and ideation. We have 35 women were supported and uh, they created their businesses. We have also a result. We have uh, 28 jobs were created. In this case, a 15 full-time job and 30 a part-time job. We have also 25 women's businesses uh, uh, increasing their income by 39%.
why these uh, activities is gender transformative for us? This activities is gender transformative because on an uh, individual level, we have the self-confidence for women to run their own business. We have also the better knowledge of entrepreneurial environment existing, existing financial products and services. Uh, in uh, the individual level, we have the better confidence for women in exchanges with all the actors in the entrepreneurial environment. We have also the ability to express themselves and define their project ideas. And now we say this activity is uh, gender transformative because at the relational level, we have the strengthening of interpersonal relation between women beneficiary of the intervention. We have also the development on associative spirit, building up solidarity and networking between women across the locality involved in uh, our project. We have also the sting up relationship between women and microfinance institution. And now, on the sociocultural level, we have a positive view of family members on entrepreneurial capacity of women. And we have a participation of a community leaders to the activities. And now, please, at the sociocultural level, at the sociocultural uh, level, um, I say that uh, now it is at the system and structure, uh, structure levels. We have um, the creation for the job creation for young women. We have also the increased income for women and we have uh, improving uh, the condition, better condition uh, uh, for women. Uh, I think this is uh, how does a uh, this project helped to achieve the objective of our project. Uh, the, it, uh, it helped to achieve the objective because uh, it is um, this intervention help uh, women to have the, the job, young women in the rural area. It helped young women to increase income for, for, for their and to improving the condition better, the better condition and for women and children in the women area. Uh, this is um, some uh, activities I will share uh, with you concerning uh, the empowerment of women here in Burkina Faso. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.